have something to announce to you guys. Hi there and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Sophie's Reading Room. So today's video is quite an exciting one because I have something to announce to you guys. I've got my first publishing job! <laughs> I won't go into too many details now about how it all came about but on Tuesday I got a call from my new boss Sarah and she said she would like to offer me the job of international sales assistant at Bloomsbury Publishing House. To say I was absolutely over the moon and delighted to get the call doesn't quite cover it. It was honestly the most surreal and amazing moment ever. I was actually in London on Tuesday and I was just standing outside Charing Cross Station and I saw my phone ringing and I picked it up and she said immediately that she hoped it was good news um, and would I like to have the job. I cannot wait to start working for Bloomsbury. The books they publish and their lists are just incredible. I mean everyone knows Harry Potter but there are so many other books that they're publishing, old and new, that have had so much success. And so to accompany the announcement that I will now be working for Bloomsbury I thought I'd just do a really short video telling you a little bit about some Bloomsbury books that I've already read and a couple of new books that I've just bought and I'm very excited to read. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you the books. Okay, so I don't have the physical copies here with me because I'm currently at my university house, but if I was at my home home, I would have a massive, complete stack of all of the Harry Potter books to show you because my entire family loved the Harry Potter series. My mum actually queued up at our local Waterstones, or WH Smith? Our local WH Smith, I think it was, at midnight on the night they released the final Harry Potter book so that she could get one of the first copies. It's definitely become the line when I tell people that I've just got a job at Bloomsbury. I say, I'm working for Bloomsbury, who sell Harry Potter, because everyone does then know those books. <laughs> but moving on from those books onto another massive author that Bloomsbury publishes, I have with me A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I've spoken about this book before actually in my Taylor Swift video. So yes, massively recommend Sarah J Maas if you are a fantasy YA fan or not even young adult, just fantasy in general because her series sort of border both young adult and adult. I think my brother bought this book for me when I was maybe 14 or 15? It came out in 2015, so yeah, I think he bought it for me when I was 15 and I absolutely loved it then and I have friends who are massive Sarah J Maas fans. Okay, on to the next one. So I read A Court of Thorns and Roses for the first time six years ago now and the next one is a Bloomsbury book that I read a lot more recently. I actually read it only a couple of months ago and it's very new and it is the debut short story collection by Louise Kennedy, The End of the World is a Cul-de-Sac. I haven't spoken about this book on my YouTube channel yet, but I did post a full book review of it on my blog, which I will link below. So if you want to hear my review in detail, obviously check it out on my blog. But in short, I loved reading this short story collection. It was haunting and intense and very different from things I would normally read. I quite like romance and this was definitely quite different from that. <laughs> but yeah, it's an Irish short story collection and it touches on themes like motherhood, family, relationships, adultery, Irish history. And each story is such an in-depth and detailed snippet into someone's life. Definitely a collection that stays with you once you finish it. And an incredible debut from a new author, so I would definitely recommend checking this one out. Okay, and the next two books I'm so excited to share with you. So on Tuesday, after I found out I got the job, I went out for lunch with my brother's girlfriend Josie. Shout out to Josie. And she actually treated me to lunch, which was really lovely of her, and she really didn't have to. And after we had lunch, we went to Foils on Oxford Street, I think on Oxford Street. My London geography is about to get a lot better. <laughs> anyway, we went to Foils and I was looking at all the books and I thought, I've got to buy Bloomsbury books. The first one is No One Is Talking About This by Pat Patricia Lockwood. I'm gonna try that again. No One Is Talking About This by Patricia Lockwood. I think I say this about a lot of books, but I really love the cover for this book. This is on the Women's Prize for Fiction shortlist alongside Piranesi, Bloomsbury's other book on the list um, by Susanna Clarke. And I was deciding between the two, but Josie actually has a copy of Piranesi that I can borrow. So I thought I would buy Patricia Lockwood's. And there is a review at the top from Sally Rooney, who is one of my favourite authors, 
who says that she really admires and loves this book, Patricia Lockwood is a completely singular talent. And finally, the other book I bought when I was at Foils and another Bloomsbury book is Theatre for Dreamers by Polly Samson. Unfortunately, because of a thing called coronavirus, I will not be going abroad this summer. A few summers ago, I was lucky enough to go on two abroad holidays to Greece, um, as well as a family holiday. It really was a summer full of sun. And even though I won't physically be able to go abroad to Greece, I am going to be traveling there in the form of this book which has been described by the Financial Times as being as good as a Greek holiday. So this is a close second. Though a little bit about Theatre of Dreamers, um, reading from the blurb, it is set on a sun-baked Greek island of Hydra. It's about a girl named Erica who gets swept up with bohemian poets, painters, writers, musicians, and it explores life on an island paradise that isn't quite what it seems. So I'm very intrigued. I can't wait for some summer sun escapism because I am wearing a dress today but it's definitely not quite warm enough for it yet so I can pretend I am on the beach in Greece when I read this book. So yeah those are the books I picked out. I have a lot more on my shelf. We've got John Green um, here, I've got Paper Towns published by Bloomsbury, I've got another young adult called Breathe on my top shelf that you can't see that's published by Bloomsbury but I just wanted to pick out a few of the ones that were old and new reads for me to celebrate the fact that I will be joining Bloomsbury very very soon and that I'm just really excited to get started. You can see all the little Bloomsbury logos here. And that's really it for today's video. I'm so excited to start my publishing journey and I'll be keeping up my YouTube at the same time so you can come along with me. And apart from that, happy reading and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will chat to you guys again soon. Bye!